Hello and welcome to Sobrix. I'm Adam and this is Sobrix. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and other Lego related stuff. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Lego Disney Encanto Isabella's Flower Pot set. This is set number 43237. It has 641 pieces, and I paid $32 for this set. So I love the Lego Botanical Collection. Uh, I believe, you know, one of the earlier ones for that was like the Orchid. That was one of my earlier ones that I built, as well as some of the succulents. And there's certainly some of that here. This was really interesting to me because I, I really prefer the botanical collections that come with their own kind of of pot or their own sort of planter or something like that and this one has some extra little stuff inside that relates to Encanto it does come with a uh, mini figure or mini doll rather here and uh, I thought this looked really interesting frankly I think the $40 price point is already pretty good well I haven't looked at it yet, but I had a feeling that that was already pretty good based on the piece count, based on whatever, and then comparing it to other like botanical collections or botanical sets or something like that. So I felt pretty good about it, but um, some retailers near me have it for 45 for whatever reason, and I think there's another one of these that is a some from maybe um, Moana or something. Yeah, Moana's flower pot and again that one looks really really great to me but I've seemed to recall seeing that one um, also kind of priced a little weird like different than the price on the Lego website um, but yeah I'll probably look at that one in the future as well because these are super interesting to me but uh, I did wait to get it on sale I did get it on sale and uh, I'm, I'm happy so 20% off $8 off goes from 40 to $32 so uh, that's pretty good and I'm excited to look at this so in this video I'm gonna open this up I'm gonna put this together and then I'm gonna share my thoughts on it while I build I will speed the video up and then I'll slow it back down to review this set so until then enjoy Okay, so while we look at the build for this Lego Disney Encanto Isabello's Flower Pot set, I just wanted to say thanks for watching and then remind you if you like the video, click the thumbs up. If you like my other videos, click the subscribe button. If you want to support the channel, you can give money to the channel on YouTube, on Patreon, or the buy me a coffee link in the description. So thank you for that. And then I wanted to talk about the build. So this is a display set, I would say, but there is some hidden details or some potential play details that's done inside. So while we're working on the base kind of the woven basket or flower pot the planter that this is going in we also build in a ton of internal details that's where all these stickers are uh, and it actually creates a, a really nice kind of um, type of set here then we add on the sides which interlock together in a really nice way uh, and then we can start working on the other side now the other side is largely the same the internal details are a little bit different but in terms of the structure for the outside and the building technique throughout there with the studs on the side bricks and uh, all of this different stuff these little angled sections these sub assemblies there those are all identical to the other side so we can kind of finish that up we'll add the uh, plates on the top and then we do these the same as well so these just alternate with these uh, different slopes the one by four and the you know one by two slope pieces and we get those all together there and then we can kind of finish up the side now that we have all that done, we can start working on the actual flowers. So first we kind of lay the groundwork for the soil or whatever these are going to be planted in, the, the plant medium there. A lot of flower studs, a lot of leaf pieces. We have some like Technic plate in there as well. So we put some Technic pins in and then we can start working on the stems. So this is for one of the orchid uh, stems and then we do a smaller one there. We will do another one over there and one more smaller one here. And then we can start working on the actual flowering of the orchids, which is very similar to the uh, botanical collection orchard, orchard, 
or kid rather, but maybe a little bit different. I think the color selection is really nice. Nice use of the frog. And then we can work on the other plants that are going here. So we're building a little bit of a succulent here, which is similar to stuff in the botanical collection succulents and maybe something in the tiny plants as well. Comes together really nice, looks great. And then we can work on these other smaller flowers. I'm not sure what kind of flower these are, but they're really cute, come together quick. So that's it. And now on to my review for this set. Okay, so that is this Lego Disney Encanto Isabella's Flower Pot set. This is, uh, this is great. This is really, really cool. I'm very happy with it. I think it's a great idea. And uh, there's kind of a lot to look at here, so we will get into it. And the first thing we will do is look at the mini doll. Uh, the mini doll is actually inside here, so I'm um, revealing a little bit of this a little bit early. And I um, had put this brick on the back, which is actually from a... Uh, a, a brick world convention um, just across some studs back here to hold things together uh, just when I was laying it down and whatever but I'll open this up a little bit and I will get the mini doll out so we have an Isabella mini doll from Encanto so this is really cool um, we have a nice hairpiece, really flowy. Um, it was difficult for me to get on the head, but I just was not holding it correctly at the right angle based on like the how dramatic this sort of swoosh of hair is. So that was my mistake. We do have a hole on the side where we can put a flower. Uh, face is pretty good. Mini doll head there. The torso is really good. Nice like floral design for the dress. Uh, we have them holding another flower kind of in their hand. And then the dress or skirt type piece has the same kind of printing there. And then looking on the back, there's a little bit of printing on the back, kind of up around the collar. Nothing on the skirt or anything like that. No uh, other like major super details in here. So this is the mini doll, you know, for a display set. That could also be kind of a play set or a display set with like a hidden thing. I think this is fine um, I or doable or not a big deal. Uh, I, I don't mind this, you know, this kind of reminds me a little bit of like the mini Disney castles, like the Palace of Agrabah and the... Um, like, I think there was a just a Disney one, there was the Haunted Mansion, there was uh, a, lots of these different Disney castles, and they, well, most of them came with a minifigure. The uh, Agrabah one from Aladdin did not, which I didn't like about it. And so those are, like, display-oriented, but you could display them with the character there, and... Um, I think this one's not as recognizable as some of those other ones, but that's not a big issue for people that know they know. And if this is a display set, you know, maybe having that here is a nice little uh, addition to it. But that's the only minifigure you get. And then the rest of this set is this awesome flower pot here. Um, just kind of a quick overview, like really, really cool kind of braided sort of almost wicker design uh or like reeds sort of um not sewn but like uh weave woven together throughout here which is really nice really like the colors for the lower portion and the upper portion up here i'll go a little bit more into the what the build is in that is like and then up at the top we have it full of different plant life and stuff here so uh that's really really cool i'll kind of go through the build process a little bit you start with the base here with these angled plates and you build it in two halves and that's because the two halves open up so if I open this up here we can kind of see what the internal structure is a little bit for this now not only do we have internal details there but we can see kind of how we built these sides of the um, the flower pot there 
And so you start by just building one half with those angled plates uh, on the bottom. And then we do a bunch of interesting stuff. There's some studs on the side over here. There's using like the one by two hollow stud rounded plates and flower studs. Like internally, we have different uh, like columns and pillars. And the interesting thing is about this and doing it this way is that it's not all just like hollow in here. It's not all structural stuff. It really uh, it has detail inside, so we had to kind of accommodate that going forward. Um, so you kind of build up the middle section of these. I'm calling the middle section uh, like this section here and this section here. So there's studs on the side on the inside. There's also studs on this side on the outside. And then you basically do this in like three main sections. You have the one that is kind of on the back and you build that one way. And then we have these ones on the side. This and this are identical. And we kind of alternate putting one of these slopes and then putting the smaller slopes there and then alternating all the way down. And that allows for this really tight kind of interlocking woven look that I think is captured really, really nicely here. So you kind of do all of those. It's interesting because, you know, this stuff here is flat and the plate that those external details are on is flat. And so in order to get the angle to kind of match up with these angled plates, we did uh, some stuff with a some brackets in there to get the studs on the side and then like a flower stud uh, and you could kind of swivel this around so if you can see that in there this has a little bit of movement that's actually uh, visible here as well so uh, that is kind of how we achieved that angle there and then for the most part like the two sides are pretty much the same and the way that they differ is on the inside so you build this one first we can see uh, for the most part like this kind of pillar area uh, over here is the same over here inside on this side we have some different stuff so we have like kind of a, a rug or a mat or something on the ground then we have a bed which is almost on like another layer up there and the minifigure can uh, slot in there the mini doll rather so we can get them kind of on their bed and then behind that we have some um, stuff in here and there are stickers in this set so here they're all internal stickers so uh, that is a, a little bit different than some other stuff we have the sticker for the bed sheet there then we have on this kind of pillar a floral design over here a floral design and then we have some like hanging lights or like lanterns back there on that four by four tile uh, with just four studs on it so there's not a ton of room uh, in here to like have this character standing up in there you can get them in there it just might be a little bit difficult to get out if they are studded down so that's pretty good and then we build like the extra cross beam and kind of finish it up we use these same kind of angled plates up top uh, you know over these plates and then the angled plates which are the same as the bottom the other side like I said largely the same for the structure of it but it's a little bit different in terms of the internal details so we have another kind of rug it almost looks like it's two separate rooms even though they kind of fold up together we have different kind of artwork here instead of the really like clean uh, formal looking flowers there we kind of have like paint splotches or, or something like that in various colors there behind that instead of the lights over here we have a family picture which is very very nice and then instead of a bed and having kind of the um, extra level in there we just have a, a different area with the kind of candle coming up through here which is really nice super simple build a little floral thing here or a, or a um, well, it's not orange, it's green, right? So a gourd or, or something like that. So those are kind of all the internal details. Again, there's not a ton of like space over here uh, to stud this character down. You might be able to manage it, but it would be, it, it would probably be difficult to get them out of there. So in my mind, it's really like have them either 
in the bed or have them um, you know kind of outstanding with the set in some other way and I knocked off a piece of uh, some floral plant life stuff there and I also knocked off this uh, person's hair piece and I really have trouble like getting this on for whatever reason there we go so I will put them in here for now and then we can look at the rest of it so internally we we left some space so it is hollowed out and there are undeniably like a lot of pieces used in there you can see we have like alternating like flower stud uh, and then the like hollow plate with the rounded kind of things and then the flower stud above that maybe it's a little bit difficult to see um, but it's kind of in that back corner like back there so we have some alternate stuff in there a lot of one by ones and then just from the sheer outside you know uh, these have a good amount of pieces so there's like the four by eight plate underneath there there's a two by four plate there's a two by two tile and then these one by six tiles and then one two three four five six uh six of these kind of slopes three of these two of these and one of these and that's pretty much the same all the way around not where it joins up that's a little bit different and we that's very very easy so that that matches together really really well so there are like a lot of pieces dedicated to the flower pot for this i'm really grateful for that i think it looks really really nice uh, just to quick show like what the back looks like it's not as finished not as polished so throughout here we have a little bit more gaps we also have to uh, use a couple technic pins and these three pinhole beams to kind of make that hinge there and so it opens up like this and then it could theoretically be you know offset a little bit it's not just a straight hinge and that allows it to come like closed up at the back and at the front in a really nice way but it does mean that we don't have kind of these other gaps filled in there i think they did an okay job with the tiles here some flower studs in there but i think it would have been pretty difficult to hide these hinges in a way that you know would would solve the issue of these gaps in there so i don't really mind that it is pretty clear that this is the back just based on how everything else is um kind of oriented in here so it's not a big issue and that's kind of all of that and then we can work on the plants so we start by adding you know there's a ton of these leaf pieces with the flower stud uh kind of all throughout there's different brown tiles throughout and then there's all the plant life here so we start by doing uh using some two by four technic plate uh, there's two of them over here and two of them over here you kind of offset them a little bit so those have the technic uh, pinhole through them and then we add these round plates with the axle hole through them which allows us to uh, affix some um, stems so you actually work on building these one at a time instead of like building all these stems at once so you build this one first this is an orchid uh, I think it's pretty similar to the orchid um, between botanical set it might be even some of the same pieces uh, at the middle we have the frog so there's a white frog here and I think that's the same as the orchid and then we kind of build this out with these like uh, mech shoulder pad uh, type pieces up here these shield pieces on the bar element there uh, and that like splat gear the cross one uh, up there as well as well as the kind of fang type pieces here even though they're not fangs but they kind of look like it so that's the orchid uh, orchid and you can kind of arrange this in a way uh, a person might want to kind of give it some life there the stem is built up with the brown kind of technic and then an angled one we put a half pin in there with the little ice cream cone top curly Q uh, bud and then we have the little curly kind of stem at the top so this one goes up a ways and then over it also makes use of these which I, I know I have some orchids in my house and I don't know 
um, what you would call these. It's sort of like if you're starting a new tree outside, you would maybe want a, um, you know, some uh, stick or pillar or stake or post that you put into the ground to attach it to each other so it doesn't like fall over under its own weight and it kind of can keep growing there and I know the orchids in my house have these so I don't know what they are but it is sort of a a something that's pretty common so that they can continue to grow up uh, instead of like you know growing out or falling over or uprooting itself or under its own weight or anything like that so I thought that was a nice detail it's not needed in here actually you know so when I was looking at the box I was kind of like what is that like that's not a flower what is that and I have to imagine that's what it is and so that's a little detail that they added in there so we do have the little technic pieces here that kind of attach to that which is really nice down here we have a smaller kind of uh, orchid stem without a full bud in bloom or without the full flower. Then we have another kind of smaller one back here and then this one's a little bit more in the foreground and it's a little bit shorter than the first one but the build is largely the same after we are done with that we actually work on this succulent here so this very much reminded me of a one of the succulents in the lego botanical collection succulents and also a little bit of something in the tiny plants and i'm not i can't remember it's been so long since i've actually built the succulent set because i just have it you know sitting there i think some of the techniques are in piece usages are are pretty much the same um but this is done i can't remember if it's just called like a barrel cactus or like what kind of thing it is but essentially we build it with some studs on the side bricks and these um like two-thirds bricks that are hollow and then we make eight of these sub assemblies with a one by three two hollow studs and two cheese wedges plus the like minion sprig hairpiece in tan and then we kind of attach those all together and there's a bar element that runs through a lot of this even down to like where it connects down here up to here we got the dome top and then we have a little flower up there as well kind of coming off at an angle so uh, this is pretty simple but it looks really really nice I don't see a ton of colors I'm not supposed to only when I get like really level with it maybe the inside whatever color the studs on the side brick is a little bit off but not a big deal but like it's so tight in here so that between these sections to really give it that round look um, I don't see anything too weird we also add some other details I think I don't believe this is a plant I want to say this is kind of like a windmill you might put in a planter or a garden or something just that spins and looks pretty so I think that's what this is just a couple pieces used there uh, it does use the like stop sign or the bar element with this is this is like a tile on the back but on the front it has one stud and then we kind of make that so kind of like a windmill wind spinny thing for a garden and then we add a couple other uh, floral things over here so we like I said it we have a bunch of these with the leaves and the flower stud we have more of that over here and then we build up some other stems so these use the candlestick pieces here um, in there and then this one's kind of different so it comes off at that angle and those are really really simple so the actual flower bud there is like identical to uh, each other that you build three of them it's inverted tile these are a different color of the leaf piece instead of green it's kind of that uh, kind of pink salmon -y color there then we put on a plate uh, in there and then we put the like the floral piece kind of on there and a tile on the end and then we have this thing so this these are all like upside down the studs are actually going downward here but it's a super easy build because you just build it going this way and then you can attach these on so we have that one there that kind of leans over in the front we have a little bit of a shorter one down here coming off where this green leaf is and and then we have a longer one kind of a little bit taller going up over here I think it's a little bit strange that those are like so just vertical just facing up it would seem to me that like the light is coming from above but kind of still at an angle so 
I maybe would have liked for these to be tilted a little bit more but maybe this kind of breaks up the monotony of that and makes it more realistic i don't know something about these going straight up and then the flower opening just upwards was a little bit odd to me uh, so maybe that's one place where it could have been improved and then over here we have another like maybe smaller shoot of the same plant that has a butterfly on here it is not printed. They definitely make a printed butterfly piece on this color, or so uh, the kind of pale yellow. So I don't know why specifically they went for a plain one there, but it is there. And that's kind of everything in here. You know, in terms of building techniques, it's it's a nine plus set. So it's not an 18 plus set. So they didn't go crazy. I There's a little bit of like, I don't know if finicky is the right word, but in kind of interweaving these sections here with the alternating slopes i had to really make sure and i'm imagining others really have to make sure that those aren't kind of off a little bit because lego does have like a little bit of give like these pieces can kind of move just a little bit it's not too unreasonable to have uh, or not, it's you know not difficult to misalign these a little bit and then have to work a little bit to try to get them on i also found that the connection for the kind of panels that are on the angles here so like this one over here where it wiggles um kind of right in there was a little bit weird because underneath this bracket down here we just have a flower stud so it goes down to one stud which is what allows us to do that and then we have like a jumper up at the top if you can see that and then uh, we put on this big thing and i felt it was a little bit difficult to get the pressure on the appropriate spots to kind of evenly stud this down onto you know you're going from a, a four by down to a two by and um, that was a little bit finicky but I found if I like put pressure on the inside and on the outside and just kind of worked with it a little bit it wasn't too bad I think you know there's some repetition in here that's true for a lot of botanical sets certainly making all of this stuff is a little bit uh, repetitive some of this for the succulent the flowers some of the stuff for the orchids is repetitive too but not so much so that it was boring or uh, unreasonable I thought it was paced well and it made a lot of uh, sense and I felt like it is an accessible set that has some stuff that I think maybe feels more like an 18 plus set but it, it totally works and is totally achievable from people uh, for people of all different types and ages and all all different things so I, I really appreciate that it uh, there and then in terms of like this being repetitive and finicky it's so worth it to me like it's so worth it to get a cool design like this and as I understand it the Moana flower pot has a different design using some different pieces but it's a lot of you know putting pieces all throughout the base to make up the pot but i think that's so worth it to have like a completed looking thing here that um i think is a little bit lacking in some of the other uh botanical sets mostly i guess the bouquets but uh i, I was very pleased to see um this done here and it also reminds me maybe of like the mona lisa for example has the frame now the frame for that is all like drum lacquered gold and there's a lot of one by one pieces in there as well as some tiles and exonite shields and uh, different things like that uh but it looks so good that it's like totally worth it to me and i think this fits in there as well because this is a really solid display model i think uh as is especially if we're not viewing it from the back so if this is up against a wall or there's something else a picture frame or something you know that maybe is leaning up on the uh, side table right next to this it's not a big deal it does have a pretty clear like front and back and then um i think i think this is a super solid looking display set potentially play i don't know what the play sequence is but i'm not uh you know the typical audience who would be excited to play with this and even if it's just a hidden little kind of easter egg in there i still think that's really cool because i could like if someone 
for example, were to come over and see this at my house and ask about it or whatever, and I could say, oh, yeah, you know, it's from Encanto, it's Lego from Encanto, and look at this, and then I could open it up, and they would be, they well, they might be like, whoa, like, no way, that's so cool, because there's uh, not wasted space in here, like, there's lots of detail on si- inside, and I think that's worth it. My one kind of other, I don't know if it's a it's a pet peeve or if it's a, not a pet peeve, but kind of my one wish, I think, that I, I would have here, like or the thing that I would change or uh, adapt um, or alter this to accommodate uh, is like besides these going straight up I th- and, and besides like anything at the rear to cover up those gaps, I would have loved for this to have a way built in to close and like be closed like I thought maybe there was a way of interlocking these leaf pieces such that it it would kind of get there uh, or that would like there would be something enough to do that because there is these couple leaf pieces up at the front but there's not so like I said when I was having this here um, there's a couple different ways uh, a person could do it you could like put something like a uh a a, a tile here and honestly if you got like a one by six it might fill up some of that gap and look okay and that's not going to be the strongest connection like you could probably still open it up and that would pop off but it would be like something there but I think it would really be nice to have something on the front side because you can see if we have these like off a little bit the this doesn't match up like a hundred percent perfectly Uh, And you have to be very kind of uh, conscious of that to have these lined up. Otherwise, they could, you know, one side could be higher than the other, just the way that the hinges is done. And I don't know if I'm showing that correctly, but lost a flower. So like here, one side is higher than the other or here. Now this side is higher than the other. Um, So there's a little bit of like uh, stuff there that... I think would be nice to potentially uh, address and I think it would have been really great to up here have some kind of some kind of lock some kind of mechanism something to hold these together uh, when it's not wanting to be opened so I think you know it's not too difficult I just popped a this brick is a is a one by eight this um, brick world brick but uh, you know a uh, frankly a one by two and one by four or one by six could maybe get in there and then when I put that on you know this has it's got a little bit but it doesn't open right up and when it's sitting like this or for the video's sake because I had it on its side like this it holds together really nicely without that there it would sort of start to separate a, a bit so it would look something like that and you know that's just the nature of the way I record these things but I just think it would be a a slight improvement if we had a way to like turn something and it was kind of locked and then easily uh, turn it back and unlock it to open it up it would add something like a little more secret and special about it because then uh, a person theoretically could be like a little more um or a little less careful and cautious when handling it like someone could pick it up and I wouldn't be worried about like this swinging open and then pieces flying off or it breaking or something because if I just like grabbed this and wanted to look at it and it opens up really really fast because I didn't grab it you know from the front or didn't hold it from one of the side if I held it just from a side it might open up there and I think some way to avoid that would have been really nice and I I think there's probably many ways that could be done so it's not super crucial and maybe people already have like figured out a nice way to do it like I said having something back here isn't that bad uh, in my opinion from the front it's pretty difficult to see and with like a uh, if if it's a nice color choice for like a piece that would go back there or something it would kind of just blend in and not be a big deal so uh, something like that would be an improvement but I really really like this I think this is great I think it looks great it was fun to build uh, and uh, so that's really really nice I'll show the extra pieces here because you do get some 
a lot of one by ones, studs, tiles, a couple floral pieces here, the minion hair, flower, flower, uh, the kind of curly Q shell or ice cream piece. A little bit of technique, a little bit of bar elements in there, a flame piece for the candle inside, all your one by ones, your cheese wedges, your tiles, your slopes, your studs, uh, pins, all of that good stuff. So about what uh, one would expect in a set like this with these many little pieces. And this set is 641 pieces, and I paid $32 for this set. Um, it retails for 40 So if the rule is, or the rough kind of outline that people like to stay at or, or use as a sort of arbitrary judgment for value is the $0.10 cents per piece. So um, if it was $0.10 cents per piece in this, it would be, you know, $60 or, you know, something, you know, up there, $65 almost or 60, you know, whatever. And um, it's not. So it retailed for $40. Now that is taking into consideration, like, there's a lot of flower studs in here. There's a lot of the same pieces all through here. So that can really rack up the piece count for not like a ton of necessary volume or anything like that. And you find this with a lot of botanical sets too, where they might have a thousand pieces or 800 pieces and they might retail for in the 40, $50 or something like that because so many of them are like little pieces. Um, and this one definitely has a lot of them, but uh, I got this on sale for 20% off, so knock $8 off of $40, brings us down to $32. And, you know, going from 640 pieces for $32 is essentially paying like $0.05 cents per piece instead of 10 And that's a way different value proposition. It, it, it makes a lot more sense. Obviously, many of these pieces, the minion hairs, the one-by-ones, those aren't worth probably you know five cents each either but it really makes the the value here a little bit different and if you go through the lego catalog of all their sets on the current market and and try to break it down on a part like um price per piece basis and judging it compared to the sort of 10 cent rule you're gonna there's gonna be a lot of caveats throughout caveats throughout there for making exceptions for well this one has a big animal set and the, or big animal mold in it and this one's got more minifigures and this one's got printed pieces but this one's got stickers and this one's got that and that and the other thing but you know i i think it'd be a little bit hard pressed besides uh getting just sh straight up like the creator um like boxes or just like the brick packs or something to be able to find something that breaks down like this so if this has got uh, purchased if like like how I did it I got this for 20% off brings it down to 32 that feels great I mean five cents per piece uh, even for something like this especially something licensed something display oriented is really uh, a good value and honestly $40 I think feels fine too now that's given everything that's in here level of detail the amount of building how long it took the overall weight of this uh, and you know that also makes it in line with other botanical sets so I know this isn't a botanical collection set it's not an icon set it's not a um, you know a an 18 plus set but it has a lot of the hallmarks here and the price doesn't have that premium that some of those bigger or adult oriented sets do have and this fits in line with uh, maybe if someone would want to get the bonsai tree or the succulents or the um, the the orchid or, or something like that those are all kind of in this price range they may be retailed initially for 50 but then 20% off we knock it down to 40 and this is kind of right in that range at at MSRP and I don't think that's that bad given what's here uh, so I really enjoyed this. I think it's probably a, a decent value as is at retail. And I think, you know, getting it for 20% off is a great deal. Getting it for any more than that, uh, you know, 30, 40, 50% off, you, you'd be looking at a, a incredible deal in my opinion. So I'm like really 
happy with this happy I was able to look at it happy I was able to talk about it and this looks great to me I'm, I'm super excited about this and this makes me like even more excited for the Moana one I think technically the Moana one has slightly fewer pieces uh, I don't know if I've seen it on sale yet but it would look great next to this I'm interested in seeing how the like basket or the the flower pot itself is done differently I'm interested to see how the inside is done differently and what kind of different floral elements or plant life they have chosen to put in there so I'm really looking forward to that one now I don't know if I'll maybe I'll get that one at retail price just to uh you know see how i feel about the value then maybe i'll wait and see if it ever goes on sale i'm not really sure but uh, i'm very very happy with this so this is a big win for me uh huge thumbs up this was extremely enjoyable so very good if you like this video please click the thumbs up and give it a like and if you like my other videos click the subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date on all the lego videos i'll be doing here in the future including more lego disney more botanical stuff flower pots probably that other moana set and then tons of other lego sets from all different themes so subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming lego videos we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers uh, it means a lot to me it helps me a lot and then if you wanted to support the channel by giving money to the channel you could do that here on youtube with membership supers and thanks and i have the patreon it's linked in the video description and i have a buy me a coffee link in the uh, video description all that money goes back into the channel and it's uh, a huge help it's not needed it's not necessary but it is uh, extremely helpful and i'm extremely grateful so thank you very much if you're interested maybe consider checking those things out there are potentially other ways to support the channel too so if you are interested you know get in touch with me uh and we can figure something out but i just appreciate all the support of any kind so thank you very much and with all that said until next time thanks bye